friends, you know I'm always open to differing points of view. So after a police officer called me out on social media for being too hard on Spider-Man, and it went viral and people just wouldn't shut up about it, I agreed to a debate. Officer, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, uh, so me and my guys were in a shootout with some desperate characters who had nothing to lose. I mean, they didn't care if we all lived to die. And somebody would have, trust me, if Spider-Man hadn't helped us. All right, fair enough. I'm not saying he never does anything good. I'm saying he causes more problems than he solves. You had to go to the Academy, right? Be thoroughly trained? You have rules to follow? Sure, but he seems to know what he's doing, too. It worked out for the best this time. Next time, how do we know Spider-Man won't cause the deaths of all concerned? Well, he never has before, has he? I believe we'll just have to agree to disagree. Thank you for your service. Goodbye! Hey, Pete. This lab monitors the health of marine life. And we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it. But the effects these diseases have, they're just... They are not something any living creature should go through. Looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish. I better take care of it before the food supply's contaminated. Found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish. I just need to spray it over the water and fast before people start getting sick. First step, get to the docks. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Now that it's clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. Spread it evenly. The water currents will take it far and wide. Gotta cover a wide area. The fish will spread it to other fish. Which is good, because there's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. Barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them. Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. Ah. The downside is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Clear to spray. 
Come on, fishy fishies. This is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider-Man, water polluter. Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. All clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. People, I always thought Spider-Man was a few geese short of a gaggle, but this confirms it. As if that atrocious white spider wasn't enough, I've had repeated sightings of him in a new outfit. Some sort of punk rock inspired thing that makes sane people want to tear out their eyeballs with a rusty spoon. Now, I was around for the birth of punk rock, and I did not care for it then. It's a flagrant declaration. So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. Maybe someday there'll be a billboard of me. That doesn't seem menace on it. Explosions would make these ads more interesting. Someday they'd weaponize tackiness. They can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station's in the clear.
Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu, and it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration point's in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals. But it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. And one more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I better scan some pigeons to make sure. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. Officers are engaged with armed hostiles. Backup needed. Officers needed at Lennox Hill. Over.
This is one of my labs that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but it's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building, and the tallest one around is Osgore. I wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time. Jump the gun! Not low enough. Got an itchy web finger. It worked. Now if I can just keep from throwing up. Gotta hurry back to the lake and turn this loose. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. Won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. Hey, Pete. 
Now this station tracks GPS chips deployed around the city on birds and other wildlife. It collects data on the environment, which Mom wanted, and helps improve GPS on Oscorp tech, which <laughs> Dad wanted. So, it's actually probably safe. You know what, bud? I should have remembered to tell you not to bother with this one. Hey, the tech here might help me track my missing spider bot. Those things are too expensive to lose. Okay, I boosted the tracking signal on my other spider bot. Now it can track its brother. I lost the other bot's signal in the park, so that's where I'll need to drop this one. Nothing unusual, just taking my spider bot for a walk in the park, you know, like you do. Okay, it's following the pings from the other spider bot. Let's see where it takes us. Kid picked it up and took it home. It is way better than any toys on the market. Yeah, I told the AI to test it in narrow areas, so this pipe makes sense. Oh no, I hope it didn't get run over. New York drivers have no respect for the crosswalk. Looks like it made it quite a ways. If I startle the bird, it'll drop the spider bot and break it. This pigeon's strong. Someone didn't skip wing day at the bird gym. Finally, it's nest. Wait, that's the other spider bot. I busted a feathered kleptomaniac. Now that I know where they both are, time to mount a rescue mission. Harry really did me a solid that time. Wish I could thank him. I got some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out into the world again. Black Cat's been here. She was doing this in person the first time I caught her. Or did she catch me? This can't just be some elaborate flirtation. Hasn't she heard of dating apps? She's up to something. There it is. That's Ty Stone's place. And it's full of priceless art. You're playing with fire, Felicia. But I guess that's how you roll.
Alicia thinks she's toying with me, but I learned something in each of these scenes. Got it. I think some big-time lawyer lives here. I bet she's after his client list to find new targets. Hate to admit it, but she's one smart cat. city steam heating. It's better for the environment than fossil fuels, but high pressure can lead to deadly explosions. This station was designed to monitor the pressure in specific buildings. Help me show Oscorp it's worth the cost. Please. Harry's really invested in preserving his mother's legacy. And who can blame him? There's been a sharp rise in the pressure in some nearby buildings. The problem seems to be caused by faulty regulators. I've got to break them off before the pressure gets too high. And the building explodes. The city will replace the regulators I break. There's no time to do this the polite way. Luckily, the regulators are on the exterior. A well-placed web shot should take them out. What do you bet Jameson's gonna lead his show tomorrow with a Spider-Man vandalizes building story? Luckily, the regulators are on the exterior. A well-placed web shot should take them out. Can't leave any of them. It just takes one to cause a blast. Too many people in these buildings. No time to evacuate. It's up to me. these won't cause any serious problems. The city can fix them easily. Better head to the roof and make sure the pressure's rented properly. An area peep from my spider sense. Everyone's safe. I better get out of here before someone asks me to pay for all this. <laughs> 